hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to see how to fix ethernet doesn't have a valid ip configuration in windows 10 or windows 11 let's fix it guys go to search menu and type a power option click on open the edit power plan go to power options select choose what the power button do and select change settings that are currently unavailable and you just need to uncheck this option guys turn on fast startup uncheck it select save changes now you need to close stuff here and restart your pc after restarting your pc you can check if the problem solved or not if the problem not solved let's move on to the same solution guys the same solution is to release and renew ip address Using the command prompt, you can release and renew your IP address to resolve the potential conflicts. To do this, go to search menu and type CMD. Right click on the command prompt and select run as administrator and select yes. Now you just need to check my video description for this release and renew IP address command. Copy and paste it one by one. Tap the bar, right click, eject and paste it in. And copy the second command. After finishing this command, you just need to close stuff here and restart your PC. After restarting your PC, you can check if the problem solved or not. If the problem not solved, let's move on to the third solution, guys. The third solution is to reset the TCP and IP stock. Resetting the TCP IP stock can resolve IP configuration issue. To do this, go to search menu and type CMD. Right click on the command prompt and select run as administrator and select yes. Now you just need to check my video description for this reset TCP IP stock. You just need to copy the command one by one. After finishing this command, you just need to restart your PC, guys. Just to close stuff here and restart your PC. After restarting your PC, you can check if the problem solved or not. If the problem not solved, let's move on to the fourth solution, guys. The fourth solution is to configure IP settings manually. Setting a static IP address manually can sometimes resolve the issue. To do this, go to search menu and type view network connection. Click on open it. Right click on the internet you are using it and select properties. In here you need to make sure to uncheck the internet protocol version 6 and after that click on the internet protocol version 4 and select properties. Select use the following DNS server addresses and type here 8888 and in alternative DNS type 8844. This is Google's DNS guys. Click on OK. Just to close stuff here. Now you need to right click on your Ethernet and select Disable. Right click on the Ethernet and select Enable. Now you can check if the problem solved or not. If the problem not solved, let's move on to the fifth solution, guys. The fifth solution is to run the network troubleshooter. Windows includes a built-in network troubleshooter that can diagnose and fix common network issues. To do this, go to search menu and type troubleshoot. Comes up troubleshoot settings. Click on open it. And now you just need to select the other troubleshooters. Select the network and internet troubleshoot to run. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the troubleshooting process. After doing this, you can check if the problem solved or not. I hope one of these solutions fixed your problem guys. If the video helped you, don't forget to leave a like guys. You can also subscribe me and support me guys. Thank you.